And I kind of enjoy these sorts of problems. Not necessarily when I make them for myself. So one of the things I did as part of uh, the shop improvements was to insulate and skin the doors. Now, uh, these doors, are, they're barn style doors, so unfortunately they don't lend themselves to um, being weatherized, weatherproofed. Uh, they have these big gaps. I talk in either a video that's coming before this one or after this video about how I think I'm gonna deal with, with those gaps, both on, the, on both sides and the top and the bottom. Um, but this video is about handles. So I kind of painted myself in a corner and I have this piece of trim here that's I'm just using to help seal up the gap between the two doors. And that gives me a place to put the handle for this door. It's a nice solid piece of wood that I could screw the handle in. Unfortunately, I'd like to have the handle maybe about there for this door, but there is nothing behind there. That's just a thin piece of uh, melamine. So there's nothing substantial to put a screw into uh, that would just rip out if I had screwed into the melamine. Um, if I had thought about it ahead of time, I could have put something behind there in order to screw the handle to. I do think, and, and I kind of enjoy these sorts of problems, um, not necessarily when I make them for myself, but I do think I have a way. So there is part of the frame right here, a board right there that I can screw into. Obviously, I can't put the handle there, it's too close, but I do think I have a way of being able to screw in to there, but still have the handle out here where I would want it to be. And that's what this video is about, so let's get started. Thanks for watching.